to start with you first, mate. Um, first tournament, first trophy. I suppose you it's pretty easy, right? Well, I'm not so sure about that. Um, but it's been a, a, a good transition into management. Um, coming to MacArthur, I came with an open mind, um, knowing that the club is relatively new. Um, felt that the, you know, speaking to the chairman, speaking to the, the CEO, Sam, Gino, Roy, the, the board of directors, they laid out the ambition of the, the club, wanted to be in and amongst there, wanted to make history, wanted to win things. And I felt it was in line with my ambition as a as a coach, but obviously the opportunity was was a good one. And um, here we are, two months into into management, and here we are from a historical point of view that we have won the, the cup. In terms of looking forward, to, I know you're going to judge tonight, but <laughs> this is the run you put together. It's, it's nice to yeah, I think what we what we managed to do when to, you know uh, in Australia you do things a little bit differently FA Cup at the big before the start of the season that's uh, a little bit unusual, but we felt that you know once we uh, outlined the structure or philosophy the way we wanted to play we felt that this was a competition we wanted to go all the way um, and we needed to build. You talk about momentum building, uh, it was important because you don't get to play too many. You know, um, friendlies and you know a bit scrappy, but this become a real competitive game. So get your mindset. And the further we prolong, the, the games keep coming. We, we got better and stronger. And um, as I said, you know, it was all about getting to the final and winning it at the end of the day. And we managed to do that. Daniel, the atmosphere out there looked um, pardon me, looked intense from the press box. What was it like to play against? In particular, obviously they were not on your side. Yeah, obviously, um, I'm a bit used to getting a bit of stick now from the opposition fans. It's it's no problem. If anything, uh, I like it. You know, gets me gets me going. So you know, it's, it was a great atmosphere to play in front of. Um, you know, the the support from the Sydney United fans was incredible. Also from the Bulls fans. So um, great atmosphere all around, and um, it was a pleasure to play in. Well, just back on you, you Lee's obviously had a pretty tough few months. A lot of the guys we saw on Channel 10 were quite emotional, just talking about what that guy's doing to him. It must be really satisfying for him to be able to take a piece of silver away with him. Yeah, I think that's what we uh, come into this sport. You know, um, all the hard work that the players, the directors of board, the fans, you know, be part of history making. You know, you come into training each day. You know, you work hard for these moments, you know, the years up on years. And not too many people or not too many teams in the A League could say they have won the FA Cup. And here we are, three months, uh, three years into our reign, and here we are celebrating that. So there's a lot of hard work, there's a lot of emotion there. Some of the players haven't been able to experience being in this situation before, so it's a very much new thing for us. Um, but hopefully, they will take a lot of um, courage from it, a lot of experience from it, what it takes to be. Winners, um, getting that taste, you could never get enough of it. And uh, bringing it to the football club just kind of hopefully will, will, will put us in the right direction. Daniel, was it, um, I think Al Hassan said it after the game, you guys really wanted to do it for Yuli. Like when you know that one of your teammates has gone through something you can't even begin to imagine, like how do you even approach that conversation with him? And just how much does it mean, I guess, for everyone right now to be able to get around him? I mean, it's an incredible feeling. Uli, if you know him personally, he's an absolutely amazing guy. He's a top professional and he hasn't let it affect his work at all in any way. And, you know, he kind of mentioned it to us before the game in the pre-match talk that he wanted to, you know, that this game had a special meaning for him. And all the boys got a little bit emotional in it. You know, personally, I got, I got goosebumps because he's such an incredible guy and such an incredible professional and he never lets it come to the surface. And to know that it meant so much for him that, and that we could do that for him, it was a really special feeling. For me, that um, just to come in on the back of that, uh, I've only get to know the players in three months, and he wasn't he wasn't here for the first month or so. But since he came into the football club, he's embraced. He's gone through a very difficult time. We understand the emotional that he went through was hard for him, and here we are in the final, and he was magnificent tonight. He's not just a great leader, a great person, but he's our captain, and he really means this club means a lot to him. And he this this particular game was for Ule in terms of what he endured, what he had to go through. The players really went out there, the staff, everyone was, you know, rooting that we can get this victory and uh, obviously dedicated to Ule.
Daniel, uh, you're probably not thinking too much about this tonight, but was that a statement to Graham Arnold tonight? Um, for me, <laughs> um, no, nah, for me, the, like I've said before, you know, I keep getting asked this question all the time. For me, it's, I'm just taking it week by week and it was obviously, it was an amazing night for me and for the team and, you know, I'm happy and all I can do is, you know, keep performing week in, week out, help my team as much as possible and at the end of the day, the decision isn't mine to make, so just taking it week by week. Fair enough. And Dwight, uh, I know you, you probably don't know too much about the NPL system, I'm imagining, but... What are your observations from playing the semi-pro sides? Were you impressed by them? Do you think the chasm between the A-League and the NPL is, is it large? Is it not that large? What, what are your observations? Well, the, the, the beauty of the FA Cup, which obviously what I my equivalent to in, in England is playing against a lesser team, given the, 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 the teams in the, the lower division an opportunity to play against the best. And that is a traditional thing that should continue. I think it's wonderful for the competition. And for Sydney United to get to the final, it was an incredible run that they went through to beat a couple of the A-League teams. And that's the beauty. That's the magical of the cup. Um, and I thought they were incredible tonight. They really put up a good show. We thought it might have been a, bit, a little bit easier for us, but they, they, you know, on, on, a, on, a, on a day like today, the finals is always going to be nip and tuck, and lucky enough, we, we just edged them, but it's a good way to, for the lesser team to, to really um, come up against what you consider the A-League teams. Is that, sorry, just quickly, is that, why is that a statement for promotion and relegation? Do you think that's something that can come into Australia? I think it will bring a little bit more edge to everything. I think that's some of the things that they need probably to go back to the drawing board. I think people are having too much of a free ride here and the intensity and the expectation, managers um, fighting for the league and sometimes you know you can be in that sort of comfort zone where you know you know your team is not really going to be relegated and you have that. So that they, you know there are things that the the uh, the Australian Football Board or the FA can go back and sort of revisit. They need to to take it to another step. They need to take it to another level, and that discussion needs to be take place. And Dwight, you mentioned how it's a little odd playing at the domestic cup right at the start of the year, but how much of a confidence boost and a boost heading into the season can it be? Well, you talk about momentum, aren't we? You look at, you know, when you played football matches in any competition, any level, you talk about momentum. What we have seen here, we, we've been unbeaten. We scored 19 goals in the competition and conceded two. So that's a, a hell of a return. Anybody who is looking at that and you're talking to your team, you, you can build on that. And, of course, coming out victorious tonight obviously would give us a platform to go forward. And I, I hope that the players will embrace it, embrace the challenge ahead. It's going to be tough, but that's what we're in the business for. We don't expect it to be easy. We become a target now, and the players have to live up to that. I'll be certainly pushing them to make sure that continue to get the best from them. Last question, guys. <coughs> Sorry, Sorry one more. Just quickly, Dwight. You played for CFC. Mm -hmm. uh, what's it going to be like coaching against them in whatever it is? Ten, eight weeks time. Yeah, listen, I've, my time was wonderful there. There is no, uh, there's no um, doubt about that. The, the, the first year um, being here and being able to win the grand final, that was what was set out to be. I was a marquee player. I loved that. I loved that occasion, but I've moved on. This is what nearly what, 15, 16 years now, whatever it is. You know, I'm in a different position. I'm, in a, I'm a different person. I'm no longer a player. I'm a manager. And my duties right now at this present time is to Makata and my allegiance, my allegiance to, to Makata FC and make sure that we, when we get there, I hope that I get a good reception, but it's no big deal. If not, I'm here to win, and that's what, that's what Makata is about.